Welcome back everyone. So I have quite a few announcements to make and then also some things to share with you for the monthly favorites. So I'm going to get right into it. First thing I want to talk about is this t-shirt right here. This is my first, I guess my first merch ever. Um, so this is uh, from this brand called Lay Club and it's actually this DJ group that I'm in. It's sold at Virgil Normal in Los Angeles and um, yeah, this is the brand. It's called Lay Club. And my DJ name right here is Rage Against the Christine. I didn't pick it for myself. My friend Mike picked it out like years and years ago and then it just kind of stuck. But this is an old photo that I took when I lived in my last apartment. And um, yeah, I had long hair. And my friend Charlie, who owns Virgil Normal, decided to paint that photo. I love the painting so much. And then he put it on a t-shirt, so now it's sold at Virgil Normal. I think there's only a few of them left. I have a size large because I like to wear it to sleep. Yeah, I'm just really stoked about that t-shirt because it's like my first merch piece. Um, anyway, so I have quite a few announcements in terms of playlists and music. So the first thing I want to talk about are all the playlists that I've been making in the last month. It's the month of February, so a lot of like Valentine's Day love themed um, playlist. First playlist I want to talk about is for Old Pal and they reached out to me saying that they wanted to have a playlist for Valentine's Day but um, not quite love songs for people who are in love um, because a lot of people <laughs> won't be in love or uh, they just wanted to make it for everyone and it's more about togetherness and being with the ones you love or the ones you care about. The little bio that I wrote for it is describing it as like background music that's not going to overwhelm the conversation. So if you're um, playing chess with someone that you want to spend time with or if you want to um, cook together or something like that, it's just kind of like background music. It's kind of mellow, it builds up a little bit, but it's not something that would overwhelm the environment if that makes any sense and then este from mirror water reached out and asked me to put together a list of love songs or love songs to make love with or something like that and so i put together this list of songs that i think are super romantic but also some that are a little bit more jaded in a way so they're called love and love adjacent songs it's a fun list i think and it's very dimensional as well worldwide fm so i'm actually reading off my phone right now worldwide fm i make a playlist every um every month or so and this month um i felt like the flow is really good so it's a lot of songs that i've known for a while it's not like new research songs or anything but um I think the flow is nice. So if you want something that's already blended all together, all the playlists that I have on Worldwide FM are kind of curated so that it's, or all put together so that it kind of flows so it doesn't feel like a stark change or anything like that. The next playlist I'm really excited about, I mean I'm excited about all these playlists, but this one has been in the works for a while and I've always had this playlist kind of like in secret and it's for Tokyo Bike. So they reached out to me to make a playlist for riding your bike around and stuff and this is something that I've already had um, that I tune into pretty often and then I'll keep adding songs and taking out songs and stuff and they're like hey can you put together a list of I think 10 or 12 songs or something like that I'm like that's so easy so then I put it all together and then also I got a new bike from them it's the same bike that I had before so I have the Bizu in Willow but I got another one which is in a grayish blue color and I got a bunch of accessories for it too and the reason why I wanted more than one bike is because I love riding around by myself but whenever I have visitors over I also want to be able to ride with everyone else so I've had Maddie's bike stored in my garage for a while I've been using it whenever people come over but I've just wanted one for myself in case anything happens to the bike so um, yeah I got a bunch of other accessories too I actually got some for Maddie too so these are it but this water bottle right here is such a great design it's like modeled after let's see it's the original cycling bottle from Tour de France from the 40s and 50s and there's a little photo right here too of a guy drinking from the same water bottle. It's essentially the same design but this one is insulated so it can keep cold water cold and hot drinks hot. And then I also got a little cage, this is separate, it's called the Modernist um, water bottle holder or water bottle cage but I just felt like these two go so well together so I got one for myself and then this one's for Maddie's bike which I'm going to put on later on today and then I also got this spur cycle bell which is a very small bell because the one that 
Maddie has on her bike is pretty big. So I got one of these for my bike and I like it so much. It's nice and loud, even though it's so tiny. So I got one for Maddie's bike as well. And I also got a back um, rack for my bike because I want to turn one of my bikes into more of a, like a commuter's bike and then the other one more into like a workout, like on the go kind of bike. So yeah, I'm really excited that now I have I have three Tokyo bikes in my garage right now because one of them is Maddie's. This past weekend, I didn't take out my car once and I've been using my car less and less because it's just so easy to take out your bike and then ride it around, zip it around town. There's like everything available in my neighborhood essentially. Yeah, I feel really lucky because I live in an area where there's a lot of access to grocery stores, coffee shops, sandwich shops and stuff. Um, and I can ride my bike easily and the weather is very moderate. I've been uploading to TikTok lately and a couple things went viral and yeah, it's just really exciting because I've never really been on TikTok that much, well, before the last couple of months. And um, I decided to start posting regularly to my Instagram for my ceramics account. And um, there are a few videos there that I was like, oh, you know, what? I'm gonna post it on TikTok and see what happens. And a couple of them went viral and uh yeah so it's just been really exciting so um i'm on tiktok so if you guys are also on tiktok um you can check it out i'll leave a link in the description last update i did a podcast on i guess talking about youtube and how it became a job and how to take what you do creatively and turn it into a job in a way and um just my thoughts on that it was just a fun chat so if you are a podcast listener i'll leave a link to when I just did in the down bar. On to favorites. Okay, so uh, for YouTube, I haven't really been watching that much YouTube, but my friend Greta just started her own channel and she's the creator of um, Shop Willow, which is a furniture company. And yeah, so she started posting vlogs, which I really like, but also the last video that I watched was a favorite interiors things uh, or a favorite yeah, home goods things. I think the reason why I like her channel so much is because it reminds me of old YouTube where it's more community based rather than monetizing off um, sponsorships and all that stuff, which there's nothing wrong with that. But um, I feel like you lose a little bit of community along the way. Yeah, I just really like channels like Greta's because it feels like it's bringing YouTube back full circle and making it a community again. Harla Lolly Music. So. Um, she has a YouTube channel and I've been watching it for a while and she references this book all the time obviously because she's a chef and yeah, this is her book and so I made this walnut pasta recipe and it was delicious. It was a little bit rich so I felt like it might have been better if it was just like a side dish but either way it was delicious and I love the way that she styles everything. I think it's her sister or sister-in-law who does the food styling for her book. It looks very cozy and homey and there's a lot of ceramics inspiration in here as well. I'm really into it. I love her channel. If you like Alison Roman, I think you would like Carla Lolly music. She used to work for Bon Appetit. I've been doing ceramics so much lately and the last few pieces that I've made that I'm really proud of are these right here. So this is a bowl for outdoor cats. So my neighbor has a cat named Ollie that I really love and sometimes I'll leave him little snacks and stuff but during the summer or spring and summer hotter months um, ants will come. So what I used to do is take two bowls and fill the rim with water to keep the ants from coming into the food, right? And I was doing that for a while and I, I don't really have that many bowls. So I was doing that for a while. I learned it from my dad like ages ago and then I was looking at it. I'm like, hey, I can make something that is double walled like that like this and so you can fill a little bit of water right here and then your cat can eat their even their wet food um, in the center and it won't attract ants yeah so i made it and this is it right here i made another trial version of it because ollie likes um, eating from flat plates he doesn't really like um, something that you have to bury your head into so i made this version of it but i think it's a little bit too flat so a little bit of this food right here gets over to the corners but i could still use it as a cat plate but it's just yeah it kind of um dips into here which kind of defeats the purpose um but it was so funny because i started serving him in these bowl plate things and then i came home one day after making this pizza that took forever to make and then he came right up to me and then he was like sniffing the pizza and I was like, that looks so cute. It looks like he's sniffing an actual pizza. So I put a little bit of um, 
cat food on it and he's been eating off of it because he likes eating from flat surfaces once again so it was so funny because it looks like he was eating a pizza and um, the little kibble pieces are sausage crumbles or it looks like sausage crumbles so I just thought it was so cute so now this is his cat plate the other ones I think I'm just gonna reserve for when it's like summer like really hot summer days but because I've been doing ceramics so much my hands have been drying out like crazy so I started using this um, hand cream I had a set of it for a while and I never really used it because I never needed it that deeply and then because I've been doing so much ceramics the clay just pulls out all the moisture from your hands so this is from Natura Ecos it's the nourishing hand cream and it's vegan and um, yeah it's the richest hand cream that I've ever used but it's fast absorbing um, yeah I just really like it I can keep layering it on and not feel sticky and gross it has a very nice clean scent it doesn't smell too strong um, but what I really like about this is even though the hand cream is so thick and luxurious as soon as I rub it in it just sinks all the way into my skin this is my new favorite skillet this is an ikea carbon steel pan very lightweight and yeah i love this i've always wanted a carbon steel pan because i've been such a huge fan of cast iron skillets and i heard that carbon steel pans are very similar except that they're a lot more lightweight um because they're so thin they don't hold on to heat that well but if you cook at high temperatures like a lot of asian dishes um it's great for that it's what woks are made of i love sauteing with it because the edges are a little bit rounded so you can kind of like flick the food and flip it really easily and yeah i love this pan i've been using it a ton one of my goals for 2022 is to learn how to sew so i bought a sewing machine and then over the last couple weekends my boyfriend went to visit his mom and took like an hour lesson from his mom or something like that um, just like a very short period of time just learn the basics but then when he came back he was so excited to start sewing so then we went to Joanne's bought some fabric bought a few things here and there and then we turned my garage into a basically a sewing house so he started sewing little projects making little baggies and stuff while I was doing ceramics or doing some gardening so we'd hang out in the same like proximity but doing opposite or different um, projects. I'm so proud of him because this is a skill that he just picked up like less than two weeks ago and he's been able to make little bags and sew little projects. He made this little curtain for my kitchen because I don't really like looking through my kitchen because the back room is where I keep all of my storage stuff and it's just a lot of visual clutter. So he made this little curtain thing so that I can conceal that area. I love that he learned a new skill and I can reap the benefits of that new skill as well as learn from him too. So last month I talked about how I got really into chess and I play it all the time with my boyfriend. Anyway, so I've been playing from like a little tiny travel set that's magnetized that I could bring to the beach or whatever. Um, it's great and everything, but there's not a lot of weight to it and it doesn't feel that good when you're moving the pieces around. So I um, was searching for a used tournament set and I found one and the pieces are really nice and like triple weighted and yeah it just looks so pretty anyway i made a checkerboard out of watercolor and we've been playing on that and uh, my friend cut a piece of glass to put on top of it so that the piece can slide easily and yeah chess has been way more fun because we're playing on a much bigger board and um yeah you can visually see everything very well and then i can't wait to swap out the checkerboard every couple seasons or so and um yeah try a different color and stuff anyway those are my favorites for the month of february i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, i'll leave all the links to everything in the description and thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later bye